What up, world? It's Wednesday, so you know what that means. Pop Dust Presents. I'm your host, Decent. We got very special guests in the building. We got Andy, we got Steve, we got Julian, and they are the Young Rising Sons. <laughs> that might be the best introduction we've ever had. Yeah, so. You want to tour with us? <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> I mean, you know, I gotta, you know, take vacation. Dan, is it cool if I. It's you know like, what? If you Whatever. take a vacation, no, because I haven't been able to take a vacation. Well, so you, you gotta come you to it. Come Listen, to no, no, no. We're gonna go on a big vacation, but we're gonna call it work. <laughs> <laughs> I well. like it. Siri, do we get to go on vacation? <laughs> no, we don't. Siri never answers the questions you want. <laughs> no, at it all. Uh, so, uh, F Siri, F Siri. But <laughs> thank you guys for stopping by. Absolutely, yeah. it's our yeah. pleasure. Thank Shout you. Shout out to our guest Maggie Rose who. Had an amazing interview, amazing performance. Shout out to our editor, Dan Victor, for conducting said interview and performance. <laughs> but now it's about you guys. So yeah. give the guys a little bit of background story, you know, social security number, blood type, all the information that you deem pertinent so, to this interview. I am O positive. I am B negative. I have no idea. Actually, what I don't know. I made is. that up. I don't <laughs> even know. It just sounded awesome. good. Yeah. yeah. You um, sounded confident. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's the key to most things, just being confident. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, we're a band called Young Rising Sons. We've been playing together for, what, like 10 years now? Yeah. Something like that? Yeah. Yeah. Um, based out of New Jersey, so right across the old Hudson. Um, yeah, we, we're excited about getting some new music out. We've, um, yeah, just been writing a lot and um, going out on the road next month. So, got a lot of stuff kind of like percolating, and we've been kind of um, a little underground, for lack of a better word um just kind of locked ourselves in the studio the past couple months but we're excited to with no further ado andy from young rising sons performing whiskey i can barely speak barely hold my head up now i feel buried in shadows trying to black me out i've been carrying this bottle but it weighs me down my addictive personality finally got the best of me Spun around tipsy and my hands are tied So I turn to her, tell myself it's just a vice I know that she's no good but I am hypnotized Her lips are a distillery She poured whiskey, whiskey, whiskey in the water I tried to fight it but I proved it stronger I'm pinned against the altar Every time I try to leave, she pours herself into my drink. Whiskey in the water. I can feel the burn on the rocks, it lays me out. But she takes me knee, tells me that I'm all hers now. Never had a sip of royalty, but taste the crown. Lips are a distillery. She put whiskey, whiskey, whiskey in the water. I tried to fight it, but I proved it stronger. Against the altar, wrestle with the monster. Every time I try to leave, she pours herself into my drink. Whiskey, whiskey, whiskey in the water. I try to fight it, but her proof is stronger. She always seems to know when I start to sober up. And she pours herself into my drink. Whiskey in the water. Like a shock to the slaughter, there's blood in the water. Current is dragging me, pulling me farther. Oh, the more that I fight, the more I get stronger. Fighting me, dragging me, pulling me down below, down below. She put whiskey, whiskey, whiskey in the water. I tried to fight it, but I proved it stronger. I'm pinned against the altar, wrestle with the monster. Every time I try to leave, she pours herself into my drink. Whiskey, whiskey. just recently released whiskey but give the viewers some of your back history a little, little bit more depth. let's let's find out what's under the surface of the young rising suns see put that together i worked on that all night before you guys <laughs> so but yeah let the people know how each of you got started how you guys meet you know oh man i think it was just like i know um 
in New Jersey, just like individual bands, just like playing shows together. I remember specifically meeting Steve at um. There's a place in Red Bank called the Internet Cafe. It was. It's it was. Urban it's Urban Outfit. It's sad, but um, it's literally just you know coffee shop, pastries. Computers, whatnot, and then just not for nothing. That sounds like Urban Outfitters. It was a natural progression. <laughs> it is now. But it was like they used to do like acoustic shows, and then just out of nowhere, they started doing like hardcore shows and like punk shows. And yeah. So, like him and I met, and um, like m- the drummer of my band at the time left when he left his band. So just all like on MySpace, we're just like, yo, dude, um, let's do this. We're also, like, fun yeah. fact: first time Julian met me, he hated me. No, you hated me. No, that's not true no, at all. So but true. Julian was convinced that I was like a total dick to him. But I oh. think he just came over. I was like breaking my drum set down. No way, man. And he came over and was like trying to talk to me. And I was like, yeah, man, like let me finish this first. And then I'm just, dude, just And then for like weeks, he was like, I hate that guy. And then we hung out later and we wound up actually being best friends. I think so. the first night we hung out, we were doing like a puzzle in like your living room or something. <laughs> <laughs> some culture. Yeah. And then this guy grew up in Columbus. Yeah, so I'm from Ohio originally and I um, fucking love Ohio. It's a great place. Yeah. It doesn't get a lot of credit. Shout out to my people out yeah. there in Columbus. But, uh, Hamilton refugee. See you. Know I'm saying no big speed. You know I'm saying gang 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 gang. Um but yeah, I I grew up in Columbus and I was ready to get out of there and move to New York City and went to school here and I was just playing an open mic night at a random bar in the East Village, and these guys happened to be there, and um, they were looking for a singer at the time, and we were like, yay, yeah, want to come practice with us? And um, I did, and we like immediately wound up becoming best friends, so. That's awesome, yeah. that's awesome. It's a really small world. Yeah. yeah. So tell the viewers the meaning behind your name, Young Rising Sons. Uh, I wish there were more it's it, <laughs> we just thought of it and thought it sounded cool like any to be band. honest but but i think the cool thing about it is that like it kind of started is that we were like hey we need a band name like this felt like a poignant thing and we weren't really sure what it meant it just sounded cool and then as time went on we were like oh this kind of like means a lot to us and a mm-hmm. lot about us i think too because like at the time we were just a bunch of kids just kind of like starting up and uh playing music and kind of learning the ropes together and like mm-hmm. in retrospect it was like oh wow this actually had like a real meaning yeah. for who we are which and is I th- cool I think as we've kind of grown as a band and as we've toured and um, gotten to meet our fans and grow our fan base more it's felt really like a family and I think the name kind of ties into that whole uh, you know family vibe that we've tried to, to build and um, yeah, it's a very epic sounding name, and looking at you guys' music and even seeing some of the live footage of you guys' mm-hmm. shows, like it's very, very fitting. It's very, very big. Thank it's you. very, very powerful. <laughs> so, Thank as, you, man. As, as much as you guys tried to set out to do something cool name wise, you wound up bringing it to fruition by being everything that encompasses the name Young Rising Sun. Thank right. You. I feel like that's I how think, the best things yeah. happen, too. It's like by total accident. We were yeah. like, oh, we'll just go with this because we needed a band name and, and it evolved into something so much greater than that, mm-hmm. which I think is really cool. Yeah, sometimes it really just is a name because people tend to get so entrapped by what the name is and they take on this different persona, but sometimes it's like you just don't want to be called by your regular name, so you got to come <laughs> yeah. up with something yeah. cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> exactly. And I think it becomes its own thing, like you said, and over the years it kind of kind of has yeah. and uh, like now we kind of call ourselves and our, our fans and friends the son's family because that's kind of what it's what it's evolved into so, so you two meet then you guys meet him the band comes together what has the journey been like up until this point highs the lows the in-betweens a whole lot of empty shows in new york oh, uh, yeah no shows <laughs> in new jersey years. because it was just uh, him and i like just played shows to literally nobody. BFWs to each other and our parents and mm-hmm. our girlfriends and it was just a whole bunch of that. And it's whoa, like, whoa, you, know, you guys have girlfriends? I was just bragging. <laughs> <laughs> Not me. But, <laughs> but, uh, but it's just like, <clears throat> we're like, oh, we gotta, we gotta expand somehow. New York was the next uh, natural place to go. Just a whole bunch of empty shows in New York. But like through, through the, like, the years, just start meeting other bands, start meeting other people, and just from there, just like, keep it in contact, making friendships, making connections, then, you know, it's, I feel like we've come from like a really cool, like, group of like, like-minded musicians from the same area, whether New York, Jersey, you know, Brooklyn, Queens, whatever. So um, it was cool to come from that, and uh, just to see where 
everyone is now. So with that said, um, you guys pretty much made your bones here in New York City. So once you guys started to gain notoriety, and when it came to to home, when people were like, oh yeah, those are our boys, all of a sudden, kind of <laughs> like, it, yes and no. Yeah, I think yeah. there were. Um, New Jersey's a funny place. It's, <laughs> um, we, we kind of have like a, well, I don't know. I, I guess it's different for me because I didn't grow up there. But um, there's like a little bit of a love-hate relationship, I think. And I think that goes with everybody's, you know, hometown or where they're from. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, it's such a rich culturally music mm -hmm. place when you look at like Asbury and like, Bruce, that's you know his stomping grounds. Um, like Gaslight Anthem, Frank Sinatra. I, like it's a Red Man. Yeah. Yeah. Like what more could you really ask for in like a music culture? Um, so I, I don't know. It's uh, it's cool, but it's also strange growing up like right next to New York, where you have this crazy culture and crazy yeah. like melting pot of yeah. music. And I think growing up in Jersey too, like for, for us especially, but uh, Andy who's like now an, like an honorary New Jersey and basically mm -hmm. because he, you know, he, he's been there and playing with us for so long. Uh, it was kind of cool, I think like when, when we started, you know, things started really going and our songs started doing really well. Um, being from New Jersey is super humbling because no one gives a shit at all. It's yeah. like, like <laughs> it's, it's really cool. They're like, oh, good for you. Yeah, my neighbor did that too. Cause there is such like a big like mm -hmm. music community, and it's so eclectic that it was like very humbling to be like, oh, like cool, like like you don't get a big ego, you don't get any of that. You're just like, oh cool, I'm just gonna put my head down and keep working and like just keep doing this. Mm -hmm. And like you get respect, but it's like that kind of like like dad level of respect from people where they're like, good That's job good. now, to try yeah, now do better. Yeah, <laughs> yeah and it's yeah. Uh, that was really cool. I think for us. Like, always, what you just came of off a tour? Great. Awesome, go mow the lawn. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah, like it just didn't matter. Yeah, so mm -hmm. I think that was always really really important to us and really cool because it is that kind of like very humble, very blue collar, just like you you get what you work for type community where, mm -hmm. we, where we're from. So yeah, it's like you know you go from being at the bottom and you know still having that mentality of being at the bottom once you get to you know the top like the next yeah, yeah. which is yeah. so i think it's so important especially now like it's so easy to build up an ego with you know social, social media, media followers definitely. and like that's all yeah. well and good and it's necessary to uh, you know being an artist because yeah. That's how you a lot of people are saying using social media to cultivate a brand. It's like they're cultivating a whole different personality yes. for themselves. Right. Yeah, and that's yeah. always kind of been our thing. We want to be as transparent as possible, whether it's you know social media or sitting on this couch next to you. Like we, we're just three dudes from New Jersey that like to play music and write songs. So Good. awesome, awesome. So would it be safe to say that you guys hit it big with high? We we hit like, uh, what what would I, what would you call it like a. As far as like our aspirations, it's like a base. Yeah, you know what like I mean. We, like we we rounded second and almost got to third, mm -hmm. and then they threw it to third and we had to run back second. Yeah, really. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I I don't know how to explain it. Like yeah. it like honestly, high is the reason why we've been able to do the amazing, 100%. cool things that we've been able to do. Mm -hmm. Um. So we owe that song a lot. Um, but like Steve said, I think in the grand scheme of things and our goals, um, it was kind of like, it was the first chapter and a very necessary, oh, not even the first chapter. For us, it was like the 15th chapter. Yeah, uh, but it was a big chapter. But yeah, it was a very <laughs> important chapter. And um, we, I mean, we would never dis discredit that or, or uh, I don't know. Yeah, take it no. for granted because it was so special to us in our development as a band and um, our, our just growth as humans in general I think um, it's always nice to look back at the song when it's like very very important to be like alright cool that was then that was awesome but like what's this way yeah. like how do I get there yeah, we always want to progress and mm -hmm. always want to just keep moving up and I think um, like that song was awesome for us and it really opened so many doors and I think Thank now you. it's like we're, we're stoked to just like just keep going with it and, and see what else we can, uh, you know, un uncover and, and reach, you know, because everyone, when you start a band, it's like you start in your mom's basement and, and you're like, 
I want to be the biggest <laughs> band in the world. Do you know what I mean? It's like, so we, we love that song, Death. We're so stoked about everything he's done. We're so stoked that all the people we met, all the fans we made, um, especially because of that song. And we're even more excited to just keep keep doing it. You know, mm-hmm. and keep, keep like seeing where we can go with it. Yeah. And kind of never have a ceiling on anything. Yeah, you guys, um, for lack of a better term, you know, don't want to live on the high forever. You want to yeah. just yeah. keep yeah. exactly chasing the biggest and the biggest shows and you know the best music. Right. And speaking of biggest and best, you guys have been tied to the likes of Halsey and you know things like that. What is it like, still trying to forge your own path musically, but still being in the same regard as a lot of these high end acts? Crazy. Yeah. <laughs> it's cool. We've been so so lucky to to like tour with with like people like like Halsey who's just so she, she's a superstar you know what I mean yeah. it's really cool um to to kind of like you know had our path like cross and at, at certain times and toured and, and I think that was always like just so uh it's inspiring really you know it's, it's cool to see that and it was, it was really uh I think awesome for us like experience wise yeah, wise. Mm-hmm. yeah I, you can just learn so much from going out on those kinds of tours <clears throat> from top to bottom the the crew all the way up to the artist is just you know the level of pro is very awesome very present and real um so yeah we're very fortunate to have and what are some of the things that you take from a tour like that that you can apply to not just your own shows but just your whole approach when it comes to the music industry and even making music um i think one of the most important lessons that we don't really like we don't talk about it a whole lot um is that once Touring is exhausting, and it, it takes a lot out of people. And we've been in the situation before where you know we've had a show in Denver and had to drive overnight to Seattle because we have like radio the next day. It's like Jesus. a sixteen-hour drive. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, like, you wake up that well, you don't wake up that next day because you don't sleep. You don't sleep. No. Um, but it's very easy to get overworked and just exhausted and hate everything (laughs) kind of jaded in a sense just a little yeah yeah um and we've seen it happen to to people and it it's it bummed i don't know it always has bummed me out when i in retrospect i look back and i realize that i've been that way too um because especially the the past couple months we haven't been touring and we haven't like gotten to to see our fans and play shows um and i think you do take it for granted a little bit um, There's a human element to all of that. Absolutely. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, it's like it, it's touring. Touring is exhausting, but um, <clears throat> like taking those moments, I think it's it's cool. I think like for us, it's great because there's there's three of us, so we're able to kind of like look at each other and, and like when one of us is like a little stressed out or like tired, we'll just kind of be like, dude, this is this is fucking awesome. Are you kidding me? Like it's cool. Like it's no sleep. I'd rather have no sleep than than like you know eight hours of rest and then wake up and do. It's, it's like yeah, Andy, yeah. I was joking with you the other day. I'm just like, yo, <clears throat> just like thinking about like, oh, how exhausting it was. Oh, a flight here back to Jersey, you can't even say hi to your parents because you have to go to Pittsburgh the next day. But it's like, I'll never complain again. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. uh, yeah, that ever comes about again, hopefully, you know, like, I'll never complain again because that's what we always wanted. There's no sense of complaining about what you want, you know? Yeah. So it's like, I mean, at the time, like, it like, it's exhausting. It sucked. But everything that, like thinking about it now, it's like that's amazing. That was so yeah. awesome. It was amazing yeah. then. Yeah, it was so much. It fun. was amazing then. It's like yeah. you you have those moments. I think where you're like, <clears throat> and then you know, ten minutes go by, and you're like, what am I doing? It's so sick. You know what I mean? So it's like, but there is a human a human factor in all those things. So, mm-hmm. awesome. and I think touring with other people, especially you you see it and you understand it, and uh, and I don't know. It's really <coughs> interesting. Mm-hmm. it's like there's it's just a whole world. Yeah. That, Awesome. Like awesome. So, can, can I ask you? Can I ask a quick yeah. question? One. No, Dan. I, I think this is a non sequitur great situation for the seven o'clock interview because you guys are on sevens, right? Um, one, I'm gonna do a shot just with y'all because <laughs> yeah. we have. I've alcohol been kind of slowly yeah. sipping. And yeah. two, you, I, and this is the only elegant way I could say this is that you're taking the table and it's sounding like a. Oh basketball. shoot! Oh no! That it's all good. Me. It's all okay. good, but this is all part of it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So we're I like it. Yeah. On top of sure. So Everything would you like to uh, to dole out some some more shots? Oh, uh, yeah. For, for yeah. us, for you, sir, sir, yeah, sir, yeah, yeah. yeah. I have I have some some here. Because um, I, I I don't normally break the third wall, the fourth. Fourth wall. Fourth wall. Yeah, that's the fourth one, right? Yeah, because there I isn't like a fourth wall in the budget. Like to, I don't like <laughs> to, you know, 
Treat, so listen, because I don't want to traipse in on, on Decent's show, man. Like, Decent is an amazing. Yeah, Decent, I, I have a lot of love. I, listen, you guys got to talk more about fucking wrestling. Yeah. Oh, we're getting, yeah. we'll, we'll get oh, to it. Get to we, here's the thing. Once we start, we'll, we'll stop. That's the, the secret is, yeah. is that you got to no. play this. Wait, wait, listen. Wait, you're going to. All right. I love how we just like took a, like, a pause. Yeah, that's yeah. great. <laughs> too, sweet. Too, too sweet. Too sweet, man. And yeah. yeah. to everyone yeah. watching. Yeah. 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 us. Yeah, tell all of you watching. We love you. Listen, whiskey is endorsed by this fan. It sure is. Me out with whiskey. Fellas, I'm going to step out of here and let's get on with the Thanks, Dave. So, going down the line. Started with you, Julian. Yeah. Best moment being in the band. Worst moment being in the band. So, um, <laughs> best moment kind of, uh, <laughs> this is like a brief backstory to it. So, um, and they know this really well. And my mom's side of the family, we have like my mom's older sister who's like the eldest. Like the eldest aunt, she never got married, never had kids. So it was kind of like everybody's kids were her kids. Yeah. So she's like, like my brother and I are because we called her Oracle. <laughs> and we like call her the boss. So I think the best moment was sold out show at the Starling Ballroom, and she's there with my parents and my brother and my entire family. Just like this whole band thing I was talking about, like you sort of got, but you sort of didn't. Well, here it is, like. This is kind of cool. And just for background, Starlin Ballroom, uh, I don't know if you guys know, it, in New Jersey, that's like the venue yeah, like, yeah, we yeah. grew up going to to watch like big shows, yeah. which is really... That so was like really cool. that, on top of playing a solo act crowd in front of the Oracle, and my parents were just like, this is awesome. This is. <laughs> and then the worst moment was, we actually spoke about this on the way to our last show, was, uh, uh, was we were doing a radio interview in Phoenix. We played acoustic and like did the whole thing. Is that when we uh, blew a tire? Blew a tire. And oh, um, right. our poor tour manager at the time, Bear, was the one that like had to stay awake and wait for whoever to like try to fix it. And I think he was up for like 36 hours. I tried staying up with him and just couldn't. That was one of those sh- overnight, like you play San Diego, yeah. then the next morning you have Preston Phoenix out, like 7 a.m. Yeah, so and like just remember how exhausted I was at that show. That but he, he, even the and worst and moment, it was still in front of like 5,000 well, people. Well, that was yeah, the same. Not really that, bad, like the that was the same. Like we basically had no sleep and then we had to go do a radio performance uh, that morning and like a bunch of press stuff. And then, but that night we played like a 7,000 cap venue. Mm-hmm. It's like the biggest venue on that tour. It yeah. was like, oh, awesome. like it, it, that, that's one of those moments too where you're kind of like, oh, this is like why this we This is why I'm yes. doing it. Yeah. 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 I also forgot to mention we got robbed in Montreal. Oh, you stole mine. I'm oh, sorry. Right. That right, was right. my worst uh, moment. <laughs> Okay, Steve, your moment. Right. Well, I'm going to leave my worst moment that Julian just stole from me. We got robbed in Montreal. Our band, we, Similar to how yeah. Julian just robbed you. I'm sorry. Yeah, Julian just robbed me of my moment. I Seth Rollins him. Yeah. Cashed it in? Yeah, I cashed it in. Right. With the heist of the century. Yeah, heist of the century. Yeah, we, so we uh, went in to get food. It literally was like 15 minutes. We're starving. We just got in there. It was the start, like day one of, we were touring with uh, the 1975. It was day one of that tour. We get into Montreal, we're like, let's grab some food and then we'll go to like the hotel, we'll drop our stuff off. Uh, we were inside just getting food 15 minutes and in that time, I guess someone like had scouted our van and we came out and the door was like a little bit ajar and they took all of our stuff, like all of mm. our bags. So it was like MacBooks, iPads, uh, like our in-ear monitors, all that Jesus. stuff. Passports. Everything that we needed, yeah, and that, that's the worst part. They took our passports. So we, yeah, it was that was like, just three days of being in Canada and just being like depressed and like concerned like how are we gonna get back to America for the rest of this tour we had to go to the embassy in Toronto when they had to make emergency passports for us and it was like this whole thing when we crossed back over the border the guy like kind of like looked at our like he was like why do all of you have emergency passports and we were like well we got robbed and he kind of just like paused and was like just go home. Like, just go. like he was like, I'm not gonna search your van. Like, I, you just get out of here. Like, go home and don't ever go back to Canada. Um, and we we went back multiple times because we love Canada. But it was just like it's just the like it was just circumstance. It was just we we blew it. Um, we should have parked the van probably somewhere uh, we we could have seen it better. So I don't know. Um, best moment. Best moment. It was probably the first time we ever played. Uh, an arena show, which we played, I think it was in San Jose with Weezer. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's wow. fucking that was, awesome. That was really yeah. cool. And then Weezer, too, is like a band we grew up listening to, and we, like, 
it was just very surreal being like, oh, like we're on the same bill as Weezer right now. Like this <laughs> is bizarre. Like I, I listened to them, like my whole childhood. Really? Um, so like you know, walking out into an arena and it's it's just such a different feeling entirely. Like it's the energy level is just like it's just next it's next level so it was really that was really crazy and I think something that like I'll, I'll never forget for this. completely unrelated to the interview just for like a person did they do perfect situation uh, I don't remember I don't actually think I think that whole day was like it, it was felt a like I was driving yeah. like a thousand miles yeah. down like a tunnel like I would have balled so, if they did yeah. perfect situation it was a, I feel like they might have I don't know I don't it remember. was one of those like Weezer and plays the hits kind of thing yeah uh, yeah, yeah. yeah but yeah but it was crazy, like to be there while they were setting up the huge ass W that's behind. Like, yeah, it had to be so watch them like build it and break it. Like, it was just so bizarre. It was, and that was like, the, I, I feel like I don't remember anything in particular. I just remember like kind of seeing yeah. that and the rest of it. Like, it felt like I was like just drunk the whole time because it yeah. was so crazy. Like, it, it just yeah, that's all so I much, remember. Because so much is going on between you guys having to pretty much be prepared and be on your game, and right. you, know, you mm-hmm. got a lot going on and making sure that everything is cool with you but then you got this huge arena tour and then you're playing with one of your idols so it's like it's a lot to process yeah, so everyone can just on. be a big blur. Yeah, that's kind of what it was it was just like so emotional that it was just it was a blur but it was amazing I, I remember the only thing I really remember is how I felt and I just felt like it, we were on top of the world mm-hmm. like it was just such a crazy moment for us especially starting in like my mom's basement like it's cool to like like wow we we might have like we might be doing this right awesome. now yeah mm-hmm. so anyway Andy, Andy. let's hear it um Hit so me. So best was when we played Firefly. Uh, was it 2015? 2015. 2015 yeah. uh, we were in the middle of a tour with the Kooks, and they also played the same day we did. And um, we were the first band to play the entire festival. Mm-hmm. I think it was Thursday at like 5 p.m. or something. Yeah. So you guys pretty much were setting the tone. Yeah, we are setting the tone, and it had been just like pouring the entire week. So everything was muddy and like horrible. It's like forest and, or, yeah, like forest gum. Like yeah. how it just rains the whole time and then it just stops. It rains. Yeah, like, it yeah. it rains <laughs> sideways. <laughs> <laughs> like that's literally what was yeah. going on. And then it stopped and they were like, cool, go on stage. Um that was a similar situation where we barely slept the night before. I don't think Steve slept at all. I didn't, didn't. No. Um but since we played first, our expectations were a little Hampered. We did, I, I don't know. I was like, oh this is awesome. We get to like be a part of this festival, but there's gonna be like 200 people here. Nice. Um, and we sound check, do our our thing, and as we're about to walk out, we hear like this just roar of crowd and walk out, and there's 15,000 people, just like a sea of people, <laughs> and there are more people just sprinting up towards the stage. Like by the end of the set, just double. And I mean, before that, the biggest show we had done was probably like five or six thousand, maybe. maybe. Like um, but to just see it and like play during the day and like see, I don't know, to be able to see the faces of the people in the front row was just such a surreal moment. Like, I don't know, you grow up watching like all the festivals on, on TV, whether it's like use or like MTV Spring Break whatever yeah. and I, I don't know that was one of the moments in my life where I was like I want to do that when I was like 13 sitting Definitely. on my couch at home and to have it come full circle and be able to do that was yeah. pretty that show insane. was bananas it was crazy like it was just yeah um, was so fun worst moment for me and, and looking back this might be similar to like I should appreciate this more but um we had a, a residency in Vegas and decided it would be a good idea to show up two days before the residency started. It was a so, three-day residency, mind you. Yeah, so we were there for a total of five days. Let me is, guess. Which is way too long for Vegas. Let me guess. Steve went missing. <laughs> Julian. <laughs> yeah. He lost a tooth. Um, and <laughs> you were somewhere on on a roof on a roof yeah. like the whole time, <laughs> like doing no? peyote. No, <laughs> um, no. Well, sort of. Kind of. Uh, Steve did quasi go missing. Uh, yeah. Um, we almost wound up. The trip ended them um, near like us nearly fighting, fist fighting. Yeah. Um, like, not even exaggerated. <laughs> It was it was a it's pure like pure miscommunication. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, so the thing too, we've known each other for so long that it's like when we fight, it's like it's like brothers fighting. Like, you know what I mean? Absolutely. Like, like, I don't know if you have like any siblings, but like you know how like you just have those moments where you just you 
want to just murder your siblings. <laughs> like, we have moments like that, and then it lasts like 20 minutes, and then afterwards we're all like, what, what just happened? Like, I'm really like, sorry. Yeah, like, yeah, I love you. Exactly. I love yeah. you. <laughs> the next morning, we hop in the van, and we're still like, morning. Morning. Yeah, hey. Like, we're cool, right? Yeah, we're like, <laughs> what happens? Like, so, like, yo, why were you guys fighting? We're like, I don't, I don't know. know. So, like, um, it's just like the stress of being there. Yeah, yeah we were trying to film um, the, the label had sent a video guy out to film the trip and kind of do a little like documentary thing on it who happened to be one of our buddies and the first five days we got nothing done so last night he was like can we please just like go walk around so i can film you doing something that looks fun and we're like fine we're we're all just burnt out by that point (laughs) and i don't even remember what happened but i was walking behind julian and i like white knuckles i was just like I could fucking fight somebody right now. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, with a like, lump in my throat, just like so mad. Oh, man. And Julian, just, he must have like misheard me, but he turned around and he was like, I will fucking knock you out. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, I, I don't know. Whoa. I think my favorite part Julie is Julie's trying to do the Brock Lesnar bounce like oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, yes. just oh, random God. chest tattoos what happened the best part too is like the label got like the footage because they were trying to put together like a tour documentary thing and they were like hey so like this is just like 20 minutes of you guys being pissed off like what's going on and we like, were we like we made it to the Bellagio fountain and like that was so, it yeah, yeah. Like, and, like, oh cool fountain about yeah, to they were like, so we have to like reshoot all of this they were like yeah can we please reshoot all of this like it was just it was a disaster it was just too much money because we're, we're all like really I think like we're, we're outgoing people but we're like introverted too and I think Vegas is like there's so much stimulation that like we were just like everything like you know like if it's really hot out everything makes you mad like mm-hmm. it was like that was like kind of how we were like there's like so much light and noise and it was like hot and we were just like everything like i would like like step off the sidewalk and like not like the like the distance of the sidewalk to the street i'm like fuck the stupid sidewalk like, i'd be so mad who fucking and puts the like, sidewalk yeah, by the street yeah, like, who does this? yeah it was like exactly that and i think like we we got out of there and everything was just like wow what happened to us like maybe we shouldn't go there as often yeah so, yeah. but that was it. Yeah, that was bad for everyone. Yeah, I forgot. Right. I blocked yeah. that out mentally. a lot of money. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. I didn't gamble at I didn't all. Gamble. I gained, like, f- like, 10 pounds at the buffet and just lost a lot of money. <laughs> but you guys are here now. Here yeah, we made You guys it. are making amazing music, so, Thank you. you know, whatever you guys went through wasn't in vain. Um, anyway, this song is called Noise. Um, and I literally wrote this the day after we split from our record label. Um, and it's just about kind of tuning out the excess stuff that kind of weighs you down and um, I don't know not letting it get you because uh, it's so easy to be affected by just like the noise of the world and negative energy and yeah. Um, so yeah that's essentially what this one is ladies and gentlemen with no further ado noise mm-hmm. by young rising suns Talk, say what they say. I can't help taking that bait. All the words poison my brain. Oh, it's a masochistic game. But if it consumes me just the same, it's pathetic. Tune it out, bite my tongue. Gossip keeps eating me up. Lures me in, loose, come undone. Oh. But I let myself get healed When my heart is loud and clear Says what my head it needs to hear So apathetic Don't listen to all of the noise Noise Listen to all of the noise Noise Listen when all of the people are saying That you'll never make it It's hard not giving in But it's just Listen to all of them Sometimes I listen too close Feel that knot building my throat down Swinging my fists about aimlessly Shutting my eyes so I could never see That there's nothing else to fear When my heart is loud and clear Says what my head it needs to hear So apathetic Don't listen to all of the noise Noise 
noise, noise Listen when all of the people are saying that you'll never make it It's hard not giving in, but it's just noise, noise If I look it in the face, I can slow dance with the hate All the letters read the range, it's pathetic there's nothing else to fear But my heart is loud and clear Says what in my head it needs to hear So I don't listen to all of the noise, noise Listen to all of the noise, noise Listen when all of the people are saying That you'll never make it this hard Not giving in, but it's just Thank you guys so much for stopping by. Yeah, thank you for having us, man. So you guys got a tour coming up next month. Yeah, we do. Let the people know about it. Yeah, um, our buddies Magic Giant invited us to go out with them, and we're super, super stoked. We're doing um, mostly East Coast stuff. I think we hit Nashville, a bunch of Florida spots. Which we're super excited about because we haven't played no. Florida. We haven't played... We've done a festival in St. Pete and a festival in Jacksonville, but we've never done like proper Florida tour dates. Yeah. So, hi Florida. We're so excited to be seeing Also, you. Disney. We're going to Disney, too, yeah. so yeah. that's going to be good. Um, <laughs> and then, I think Raleigh. Yeah, like Baltimore. Or Charlotte. 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 Yeah, 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 Charlotte. Baltimore, um, Albany, Montreal, Connecticut, I believe. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so nice little and we're going to not get robbed in Montreal this time. Yeah. Please. Yeah, fingers crossed. Yeah, we need, you, we need you guys to get back safely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and we've got some other dates to announce coming up shortly, so we're excited about that. Yeah. Well, if you guys have any New York dates, please let Pop this know so we can be in the building. Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. First one's there. Definitely. We will drink Definitely. all yeah. of the whiskey together. All the whiskey <laughs> together. Let everybody know where they can find you, you know, your websites, you yes. know, Instagrams, you know, eHarmonies, yeah. all that good stuff. <laughs> Uh, uh, everything, everything, everything. dot com slash Young Rising Suns. Yeah, yeah. YoungRisingSuns dot com. Yeah, Instagram Boom. is at Young Rising Suns. Twitter at Young Rising Suns. Okay, <clears> before we yep. sign off, one last shot for Dude. the sake of. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> oh, bro. Does that, does We're that definitely gonna have to get dinner. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I think it means you too. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. This yeah. is for um, yeah. this everyone. Is for the, uh, we're all working here, so I feel like shots are encouraged, right? This is for the homies we got. I think this is for the from Jersey. Listen, Jersey boys. Got to stick together. Right. I'm a Jersey boy. I've been right. playing Love music it. a long time. Y'all, y'all, listen. You're, you're living the dream. You're doing everything trying everyone to. hopes to. Listen, man. We look. You know, I grew up playing funk rock and so indie so rock cool. and blues and oh, yeah. hip hop with this this motherfucker. Yes, I'm you know that. what I'm saying? And, and you know what it's all about, man. We, we love what we do, and I'm so proud yeah. that you guys are, are killing it. Yeah, awesome. Man. So, so cheers. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Before, before we get out of here, once yes. again, we want to thank our guest, Maggie Rose, for stopping by. Yes. We want to thank Maggie Young Rose. Rising Sons. Make sure you Rose go Rose. get their single, Whiskey. Their EP will be out soon. Noise will be out soon. For everybody here at Pop This, I'm Decent. Stick around next week. We got amazing guests. See you next week, man. Cheers. 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 Hey. 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 Is it just yo, we are alive. Sweet. Sweet.